Hey, so today's video is going to be about how to design your own cafe racer bike. Now, I'm going to keep this on short and sweet. I'm absolutely boned up with man flu and can hardly speak. So, hopefully this video is going to serve as some kind of inspiration to people out there who are either working through their build or who haven't started yet, and it'll give them the, the encouragement and the boost that they need to go out and just have a good old play and go out with the mentality that nothing can go wrong and if anything does go wrong then there's always help out there to, to sort things out on, on the internet. The first thing you're going to have to do when you're designing your own cafe racer is to start from an existing bike. Here we've chosen a Honda CB4 which is named that because of the, the straight four cylinder configuration of the engine. Um, but this bike especially is quite popular in the cafe racer community because of its similarities to, to such bikes as Triumphs and they are easy to, to modify to make them meaner and give them a, a leaner cafe racer look. Now for those who follow Bike Exif, there's a really nice blog piece on there about the lines that you have to look out for when designing a bike and we're going to be adhering to similar rules as that. Uh, we've got this line here at the top of the gas tank so rule of thumb is that nothing is to come over this tank. You have these two lines, front and rear wheels, in the centre of these hubs. The other rule of thumb is that nothing is to go beyond these points. And the main visual difference that this is going to give your bike is that the bulk of the weight of the bike needs to be in the middle, here where the gas tank and the engine is. So when you're going to be building your actual bike, what you'll find is that you'll have to strip it down all the way to the, the bare metal, the bare frame and powder coat that. So for the purpose of this video we're not going to do that. Now to create this bulk of weight in the middle you need to remove the, the air filter from the back. Now this gives that nice little V, that void at the back of the frame and that's exactly what you need to, to create a, a lighter, well a visually lighter look. So the next to go is the rear mud guard. It's just hanging way behind the bike and you don't need this. It's going to make your bike look longer than it actually is. So that can go. It's up to you whether you want to fit a new mud guard or not. Uh, chances are if you've got something to stop your electrics getting wet then you should be fine. Uh, cafe racers in general don't really need to carry two people. You need to get rid of this double seat. You don't have to change the front forks on your own build. You can use the existing ones, you can shorten them down, you can powder coat. One thing that we do need to change here is the front mud guard, the tyre size, these huge indicators and reflectors that's on the front of the bike, along with the handlebars that stick so high up your arms are going to be running out of blood. So in this build particularly, what we're going to do is take the whole thing out and replace it with some uh, superbike style front forks and a, and a yoke. What you'll find with this is that it's a wider yoke so you can accommodate for fatter tyres and also it's got this neat upside down front fork piston thing where the piston's at the bottom and you've got this nice anodized gold forks at the top. And of course you've got the lower handlebars, the, the clip-on bars at the side. Now you can see that straight away it changes the whole look and dynamics of the bike because you bring the front of the bike down so you're going to be leaning forward a bit. The next thing to do is the tank. You can either spray paint your existing tank, or grab a tank from a completely different bike, here we've got one from Suzuki, or you can use another model from a Honda, but we're going to go with this brushed steel tank. Now because you're not having this double seat anymore, you can cut the back of the frame off. This will give your bike that shorter, more aggressive look to the frame. One thing I would definitely advise anyone to do is to fit either a hoop or ensure that you have a cross brace here. So to fit on this new frame, we're going to bring in a Cafe Racer style seat, which is an all leather seat with a little bit of a hump on the back. Now this hump just helps store your batteries or any electrics that you have in there. Now you can see this has a, a brat style hoop and a little kick up. So the next thing to add is your exhaust. You can either use uh, an expensive stainless steel system or you can hide all your sins and rusts and whatnot by using a, a heat wrap. And the last thing that's wrong with this bike at the moment are the rear shocks. Chances are on your bike they're going to be rusty um, but these don't fit nicely with that anodized gold front fork that we've put. And as well you've got these massive exhausts on the back which look like horns. So we'll put a, a nice new silencer on the back or a muffler with new anodized gold shocks at the rear just to, to match the front. And there you go, you find that your, your bike is complete. 
Now, if you'll flick between the two pictures, the original and the final product that you'll see, with little work, you can actually create your own mean-looking cafe racer bike. It's not going to be this simple in real life, but hey, give it a go. Do it in Photoshop first, see if you like it. And if you like the videos, then don't forget to subscribe.